Hey guys, Astro here, back on the video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little uh, project I've been working on. Uh, it's a little project called Franite Funkin' uh, Psych Engine Lure Evolved. Now, uh, basically what this is, is it's um, a kind of like an update to Psych Engine. It's using the Psych Engine source code. Uh, basically what it is, is I'm adding, I'm planning to add more functionality to Psych Engine Lure. So, for example, stuff that usually you use source code for, um, I'm trying to pour over to um, Lua. So, basically, people that don't want to touch uh, Hakes at all, which it is kind of difficult to learn to start off with. But it's not that hard once you actually learn it. But I get, but I get people would rather use um, a language that more explains itself when you get errors, like, um, for example, like Lua. Because when you get errors in Hakes, oh my god, does it just like some of the stuff like I'm a I'm a hex and a hex pixel noob some of the stuff that was popping up when I got errors I didn't know so I had to double check like the documentation and stuff like that but um yeah so uh, this will be updated continually um, link uh, suggest down below what features you want me to include uh, the current features we have are print text um, what that does is it prints the text only to the debug console uh, because the normal print debug in Psych Engine prints to both the debug console as well as uh, in game, and uh, it also persists on a fully built build. Um, so this way, uh, it'll pop up if you're using a debug build, but it won't be seen in a release build, so you don't have to go edit the stuff after. Uh, I've added a function called get song info with the parentheses cur song. Uh, what this does, it returns small bits of info of the current song. I've added get rating, get rating, cur song. Uh, this just returns uh, a bunch of rating stuff, like for example, your score, your misses, your rating, and if you're full comboing. This uh, I'm going to expand upon get rating stuff, so uh, you can use it to parse like the score or something, or like the uh, rating. And if the rating is a certain rating, or if you full combo the entire song. Go to a specific song, kind of like Nonsense did. And then we have Show Error Window, Message Title. This opens a custom error message with a custom title and body. Uh, if you leave um, the title, if you just have Show Error Message, Show Error Window Message, then the custom title, the default title as an error has occurred. Uh, this is good for like uh, stopping people accessing uh, the chart editor or stuff like that, or just like if you're making like a game breaker mod or something like that, uh, it'll be pretty good. Uh, one function I have added that I haven't added onto the GitHub repo, but I will after this video goes up, is uh, pause audio. Uh, pause audio takes three arguments of true or false. Um, it's pause pause audio, vocals, opponent vocals, and music. So say for example, um, uh, you want to pause. Say you're doing like the countdown at the start of the game, and you want to like show an error window or something like that. Uh, usually, if you just call show arrow window, the countdown will still be going on in the background and then the song will start playing. But using um, a thing, using pause audio, you can pause specific audio or if you just want like background music or something like that, uh, you can use that. Um, but yeah, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you what each of these uh, functions look like inside of Psych Engine. So I've got a Lua script in Thorn since I haven't added any uh, mods to this build yet so first of all what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to go ahead and add uh, we're going to do a start countdown um, also part of this is um, I'm going to try and see if I can make Lua run on all states so you can easily change like the background image of free play menu uh, make a custom menu completely in Lua uh, that's just one of the goals um, but first, I'm going to show you the print D feature. So if we do print D and then inside of here, um, we're just going to do um, sub to Astro. Okay, so now if I open up my Psych Engine build like this, I load into Thorns. What it's going to do is if you open up this, uh, it's going to trace the sub to Astro message to the console. And it's not in game. So that's good. So now the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is if we go back to the documentation, uh, we're going to use get song info. So what we can do is we're going to do get song info. I'm also going to add a uh, Visual Studio Code extension. 
Uh, we're gonna get the uh, I don't um, at the moment you can't get the specific a specific song. So if, for example, if I did if I did uh, get song info in brackets Bobipo, it wouldn't return the Bobipo information. Uh, at the moment, it only passes to the current song. So if I restart, and then if I go ahead and I load into here. You can see uh, it's printed the song name, the difficulty, and how long it is in milliseconds. Um, I might update it so it pr so it pauses to the console in minutes. If you choose to pause uh, minutes into it, uh, let's go ahead and open up um, this again, and we're going to use get rating stuff. Uh, the current song. Rather, instead of this, um, what we can do is, oh, pardon me. Uh, what we can do is let's just quickly wrap this inside of a multi-line Lua, Lua comment, like that, and then we can go ahead and add a new uh, function. We can do, uh, let's just do a good note hit, and then we're going to do. And I'll show you now. Uh, let me reload. And as you can see, um, basically it'll come up with debug information every time we go ahead and hit a note. So um, I'll go ahead and clear the first section and show you. Alright, so now that we've got that up, um, if I come here, you can see uh, it's traced every single note hit. So first note hit, my score was 200. Uh, my misses was zero, my rating was meh, and I was full comboing. And that keeps going up. Um, yeah. And now for the final, um, for the final fun, the second to last function. So what we can do is we can get rid of this down here. So let's just cut that. And we need to get rid of the multi line at the top like that. And then what, what we can do is we can we can make our custom uh, error window. So we're going to do show error window. And then inside of the parentheses, uh, we're going to add our message body text. Uh, since this is for thorns, I'm just going to do like some weird ass text or something like that. Um, like that. And then we're going to pause. We're not going to pause the title so I can show you what not pausing the title looks like. Let me just quickly unmute psych. So if we restart, it'll pop up with an error message at the start. And since it's on countdown, you don't have to mute music since it does it before it loads. Um, it says an error has occurred. It's you. Don't look at me. When you hit OK, it resumes the function. And now, for example, if we add a comma and we add another um, piece of text, for example, um, we'll just do, whoops, this is a funky error. Like that. Now if we go ahead and restart, we'll pop up with, whoops, this is a fucking error. And then we'll press OK and it'll load back in again. Now what we can do is, uh, for example, um, I don't know, we can do something like, uh, if we go ahead and wrap it in a on step hit, then we do if curse step is equal to, let's say 17, then we can pause the audio. Uh, let's go ahead and pause the inst. So we're going to do false for BS vocals, false for opponent's vocals, and true for the music. Okay, and then we can end like that. Now what this does is when I restart, once it hits curse step 17, it'll stop, or it should. Okay, so that doesn't work so far but what I was mainly using it for is what I did was uh, I'd use it to show an error window so that so for example if I show an error window like this and I just do window here if I restart once it hits curse up 17 
if you, as you can see, the music still keeps playing and then it'll cause it to go all buggy and all that. So what we can do instead is if we just go uh, show error window, we can also, um, we can pull, so first you got to call pause, uh, you got to call pause audio first and we're going to do true, true, true. So this will mute the entire game. And then what we can do is we can pause audio again, but this time we set all the arguments to false. This will mean the music will resume. So let me restart. See, it's completely gone silent and when I hit OK or resume. Okay, so um, at the moment I don't recommend using it for curse step stuff. Because, uh, yeah, it will bug out by the looks of it, from what I can see. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't recommend using it for curse step. What I, what I recommend using, f using it for, personally, is uh, dialogue stuff. So, like, for example, um, I don't know. Intro dialogue, you just want some stuff. You just want the background music to be running before the instrumentals, before it starts. So, uh, yeah. Um, and, yeah, these are the current functions I have added into my new psych engine uh, mod thing. Uh, suggest some stuff you want to see added down below and make sure to check the GitHub frequently if I add more stuff. But uh, yeah, apart from that, uh, I'll probably do a bit of debugging stuff for like uh, the error messages and stuff like that. But personally, I recommend using it for starting the on a start song, accessing the chart editor or dying. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I'll see you all in the next video. Ashramakul, out.